Jigsaws, Tommy. Maybe not the first saw someone's gonna buy, but definitely a saw that they're gonna need eventually. Any curved cut, this is a saw for you. Absolutely, curved cut, circle cut, scribing boards to the wall, it's a very handy tool. Comes in all different price ranges from $30 on up the ladder. Okay. All right? Things that you wanna look for in a saw is really how you like to hold a saw. All right, this grip right here allows you to hold the saw up and at it, and a lot of people like that. The D-handle, they call it, right? You can sort of see that form right there. Yep. Very different than that form. This is a barrel grip, and this one here allows you to really grab the saw and hold it down low. Mm -hmm. I actually prefer that type of a grip because I don't want to be up too high. All right, so we're picking one based on price, maybe how it feels in your hand, and once you get it, we're thinking about, I mean, there's a lot of adjustments on this and settings that most people probably aren't aware of. Oh, absolutely. I mean, the settings on this are the same as any other saw, for example. The settings right here, one, zero, and then one, two, three, up the line. That mm -hmm. means the aggressiveness of the blade to make a swing. So typically, the blade simply goes just up and down. That's the zero setting. Right, and that's going to give you the finest cut, but it's going to give you the longest time to make that right. cut. And so as you go from one, two, three, it's more aggressive because it's sweeping forward it's, while it goes up and down? It's sweeping forward and it's clearing the path, oh. getting the wood out of the way for the blade to swing around and come again. Fine to aggressive. And I guess the blade you choose is going to dictate how fine or aggressive the cut is too. There's all kinds of blades, depending on the material that you want to cut, that you want to look for. I mean, all of these blades right here, if you look at most of them, all of the teeth run up. Mm. Okay, so now if you look at, let's look at these three blades right here. Yeah. All right, these two teeth look similar, but look, this one facing up, that means it's gonna cut on the upswing. Mm -hmm. This one facing down, so it's gonna cut on the downswing. Mm -hmm. And this one's facing forward, so it's gonna cut a little up and a little down. And so why are we ever cutting on the downswing, since most of these are cutting on the pole? Well, let's say you're cutting a material that you're worried about it chipping out, like maybe a piece of laminate or oh. a really good piece of veneer. Right. You don't want that wood to chip. So you want to make sure that the blade cuts down. Okay, so a whole bunch of different blades and different um, blades for different machines, right? I mean, I have done this. I've come home from the home center, tried to put a blade into my jigsaw, oh, yeah. and it's not the right one. Right, you got to pay attention to the end of the blade, the part that goes into the saw itself. This is just a straight shank, mm -hmm. and this is actually a T-shank. Right. All right, and I, I see that all of these saws right here that I have on the table use the T-type. Okay, so get the right blade. Right. Back to the saw itself, um, more adjustments, not just to the blade, but also to the foot right here. Right. Uh, look, at you can cut the, turn the saw on an angle so you can make a bevel cut, all right? Or if you want to back cut something when you're scribing it to the wall. Right. Uh, you can also have a, a, attachments that go in here that will slide into these saws that go a wrap around the blade so you don't get chip out. Right. So you don't have to go to that down cutting blade. All right. Speed control. You can control the speed of the blade so it cuts really fast mm. or really slow. So if you're cutting a piece of metal, you want to maybe cut that at a lower speed than you might with you were cutting a piece of thick mahogany. This one goes from one all the way up to five and then automatic. The speed is going to adjust based on the resistance the saw feels. Exactly. Nice feature. All right, so some features to think about. What about technique when we're cutting? Technique. When cutting with a jigsaw, it's very important that you hold on to the saw. You want to hold on to it firmly and you want to make sure that you follow your line. You're going to have to reach out like this and follow the line and let the saw do the cutting. So many people want to force it. Mm -hmm. If it feels like it's going too hard, you may want to change your setting to a higher number and you'll notice a difference in the cut. But it's also very important that when, you're making that when you're making that cut, you do not push the saw away from you or pull it towards you because then you can bend that blade and make the cut skewed to the left or to the right. Good information, good tips as always, Tommy. Thank you. My pleasure.